Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a glass morphism effect inside of Webflow without any code. Here we go. All right, so today we're gonna be creating this little glossy glass effect inside of Webflow. We call this glass morphism. This is a very nice way to add a little bit of texture to your site and really make it come alive. Um, now in other tutorial videos, you could only achieve this effect with custom HTML embeds inside of your div blocks. We don't need to do that anymore. I'm gonna show you today how you can do it with just a few clicks of the button and no custom code. All right, here we go. All right, so let's hop into Webflow and you can see all I have right now are three divs down here and they all are sharing the same class of div frosted. So this isn't gonna take long, just a few clicks now that Webflow has added this new feature. So let's choose our div and let's come all the way down the right side to this new section they've added called backdrop filters. You can see we have a bunch of different options here. We want to choose blur. Remember, this used to have to be done with an HTML embed and custom code. We don't need to do that anymore. We just choose this blur filter. You can see we have a little slider here. We, we can affect the amount of blur we have. I'm going to leave us at maybe four pixels of blur. And so you can see our divs now all have blurry backgrounds, but it's not really looking glassy. It's just looking kind of blurry. So the next thing we want to do is we want to choose our div again, and we want to come up to backgrounds, and we want to add a gradient. All right. Now our first color in our gradient, we're going to go and make it white, and then we're going to drop our transparency down to maybe, you know, 5%. So it's very clear. Um, you can play with that as you want, but drop it down very low. And transparency and then we're going to choose our second color of our gradient we're going to also keep it at white but we're going to keep this transparency maybe up around 30 35 percent all right the next thing we want to do is we want to change our angle just so it looks a little more natural so we want one of our corners to be whiter and less transparent than our other corners so that's why we're changing our angle just to make it look a little more natural so now you can see we're kind of getting this glassy effect. So it's starting to look really nice. So the last thing we want to do is we want to add a little border just so we can delineate between our clear, nice looking crisp background and our new blurry divs. So let's just choose our div frosted div block and we'll come down here to borders and we'll add a one pixel border. We'll make it white again. And we're just going to drop the transparency down so it looks a little more realistic, maybe around 15. All right. 15%, there we go. So just, just a very subtle border there. And then we'll just clean this out. We'll just make it a little, a little softer, add a little um, border radius there of 10 pixels. Um, and then I just wanna maybe, as a last thing, just have this move on hover. So I'll come to my hover state and I'll go to uh, 2D, 3D transform scale. And you know, on hover, we'll have this just kind of grow slightly maybe 2%, and then we'll come back to our none state and add our transition, just like this. All right, so now we'll preview, and you can see that we have just a very nice, very soft glass morphism effect in Webflow, and we didn't have to add a single line of custom code. It's that easy, guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, go down and smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. If you want to see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing. Also, go down in the comments and let me know what kind of video you want to see next. I really appreciate interacting with you guys, and I can't wait to hear from you down in the comments below. Thank you all for being here again, and I will see you all next week. Peace.